rolling around inside the 10 yard line. Who's got it? And it's Minnesota football. First and goal, Gophers. Scott Ekpe comes up with a loose ball. What the Gophers have been doing of late, though, that's now 11 turnovers they've been able to grab in the last four games, counting this game. First and goal at the nine yard line. The give to Brooks. Shannon Brooks with the corner, reaching for the pylon. And what is it? Six. It is a touchdown for Brooks. Shannon Brooks gets the touchdown. And Mosley circling under this line drive. Unbobbled, and it's a fumble, and it's Minnesota ball. He flat out dropped that one as Winfield is there to scoop it up for the Gophers, and Minnesota gets its second turnover inside the 25-yard line of Illinois. Smith and Brooks both on the field. Brooks split up to the top of your screen, now coming in motion. Smith gets the carry, big hole. Smith fearing to the left, he'll scoot in for six. So Kevin, exactly what we said about Brooks and Smith, what their strength is, is what he just got. Third and six at the 11. Draw play to Brooks. Brooks with a first down and more. And Minnesota able to dig itself out of its own end on the fine running of Shannon Brooks. Stanley Green and Jalen Dunlap finally track him down after a 12-yard gain. From the 40-yard line, first down. Wolotarski in motion. Leidner will toss to Wolotarski, trying to get to the edge. He's got the first down and the sideline. Finally knocked out of bounds by Stanley Green at the 40-yard line of Illinois. Last time he shanked it. Better punt this time for Santos. Sort of bounce at the 13-yard line and picked up at the four and driven back. Mosley waited on the hop and Winfield was right there. It's a 53-yard punt Kevin. and nowhere to go. Quick toss on the screen through the hands of Corbin and incomplete. Gophers can't take advantage yet of the excellent field position thanks to that Illinois D. Third down and seven. Leidner over the middle. Open is Wolotarski first down and more. Wolotarski inside the 20 and down just shy of the 10-yard line. Tripped up by Jalen Dunlap. Second and seven at the eight. Smith to the outside. Smith to the end zone for the touchdown. The fourth quarter begins with a big play in this game. Third and two at the five-yard line of Illinois. Minnesota up by a touchdown, looking for more on third and two. Let's see if they don't bring some heat. They're four of five on third down in the second half. And on third and two, they bring the heat, but Leidner with the fake, and he walks in for the touchdown. It was an easy read. <laughs> Phillips just took the bait hard. Illinois down two scores, starting from their own four-yard line. Pressure coming, Jeff George Jr. Trouble, he's sacked, it's a safety. Merrick Jackson with the safety as Jeff George Jr. couldn't get out of the end zone. That's tough. As a play caller, that's tough. From the 36 on first down, George with some late pressure. He's in trouble, the ball's jarred out of his hands. Scooped up on the left side, and Ekpe trying to fall on it without running as Ekpe grabs it at the 12. Hendrick Ekpe was able to knock it out of the hands of Jeff George. So from Hendrick Ekpe to Scott Ekpe, Minnesota gets it back again with a short field. Emmett Carpenter on for a 25-yard field goal attempt. This is his shortest attempt of the year. His shortest kick has been 28 twice. This from 25 to give Minnesota the three-score lead, and it is good. Or down in 10. George hit as he throws again, and that's incomplete. That pressure again up the middle coming from Steven Richardson. Watch him turn the corner. That's that's just well done. Well, he practiced one day this week. Second and goal at the five. McCrary again, and McCrary will walk in for his third touchdown of the year and his first in conference play in Minnesota seals the deal in Champaign. And now Minnesota will take a knee, and this one will come to a close. Pretty impressive road win for the Minnesota Golden Gophers, who get the job done and spoil homecoming here in Champaign.